Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm going to do my August 2022 um, book haul. So for me, this is a pretty small month. I still bought too many. And I, I mean, again, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really trying to cut back on things, but I just have not, I'm not doing so hot. So, but 12, 12 is a good number for me. Um, again, when I've had months that have been the 20s and 30s and 40s this, this year, um, I did get, of the 12, three of them are used and then the rest I all bought new. So uh, I'm working on it. Anyway, I'm working on it. I'm hoping that um, sometime this month I'm going to take some more books back to Pals or, you know, to my local used uh, bookstores to get some credit. So then maybe I can do a little bit more used book shopping. The, um, I'm not so much online shopping, but we will see what happens. We'll see. I'm not, I mean, <laughs> it's early, early September and I'm already having, I've already bought a couple books, which is typical. Anyway, so let's start out with my pre-orders. I have three series endings for pre-orders. So the first one was Dance with the Devil by Kit Rosha. This is the third book in the Mercenary Librarians series. It's a uh, post-apocalyptic uh, 2080s um, where we're following women who are, um, out to find out uh, information after their um, after years after uh, a solar flare has taken out much of the world uh, and corporations pretty much rule the world instead of governments and they are uh, fighting against that with some other people and so um, this is book number three I just read book number two so I am ready to jump into this for uh, during September so I am excited to get to that I also have the third book in the Regency Fairy Tale series by Olivia Atwater. So um, I have only read the first book, Half a Soul, but I just adored it. So um, I'm hoping to um, get to the second book, 10,000 Stitches, here pretty soon, and then maybe pick up this one too. We'll see what happens. Again, uh, it's series September, um, in September. So hopefully the, the series, some of these series books I'll get to. We'll see. But this one is the last book. I don't know anything about this one. Um, the first book, Half a Soul, uh, dealt with a woman who, um, as a child, lost part of her soul to a fae. And so she's always been a little off. And she goes for the um, the season with her, you know, in into to London with her cousin who is on the market kind of thing. And so, and she kind of has her own little adventure that's connected with uh, her being there and, um, the people that she meets. I really loved Half a Soul and I'm really looking forward to 10,000 Stitches and I'm probably going to love this one too, but I bought it. <laughs> I pre-ordered that one. And then the last book in the Alona Andrews Hidden Legacy series uh, came out um, in August. Uh, I've been reading this series with T and all the books this year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this last book. Um, it's a urban fantasy um, alternate history kind of Houston where uh, magic has been prevalent since the 1800s and certain families um, have grown um, into houses where their their power uh, like corporations kind of things like by family groups and uh, we're following um, a, a family of people who have been private investigators and uh, they just kind of get sucked into things from book one which is burn for me which is the first trilogy there's two trilogies um, this is the second trilogy in the last book in that. So this is book six. I'm really looking forward to finishing off the series with Tia. And uh, I'm just really enjoying our reading of Elon Anders. But this is the last book in the series. I'm glad that we uh, set out to read the books that <laughs> this would be the next month. So we, we're going to pick this up um, in early September, which I'm excited about. And then the three... Um, um, used books I got are all parts of series. Some of them are, well, <laughs> the first one is The Shadow Queen by Anne Bishop. This is the, is one of the books in the Black Jewels series. This is a series where I read the first book, Daughter of, of the Blood, I believe. And I read it two years ago, two or three years ago, almost, probably almost three years ago now, um, with Maria at MH Books. And I really, uh, I was, it was, well, it was deep. I was not, or dark. I was not <laughs> expecting it to be that dark. So I never continued at the time because that was right before everything <laughs> shut down. So um, I never got back to it. So I would really like to get back to it, but I've been collecting paperback books because of uh, the series. I figure once I get into, Anne Bishop wrote one of my favorite series, The Others series. So I, um, 
I'm hoping I'm going to really enjoy this series, but I found another book. I, I think this is like five or six. I don't know. I got quite a few of those, but it was used, so I got it. I also got The Tropic of Serpents, by, a memoir of by Lady Trent um, by Marie Brennan. So this is book two in the Lady Trent series. I read um, book or reread book one. Did I read that in July or August? I don't remember what month I read it. Um, I got it um, as a gift from TNL the Books for my birthday. So um, I wanted to continue the series because I had read the first book when it first came out and then never got back to it because I had to wait for the books and then I just never did. So this is book two, continuing her adventures of uh, looking at um, is Victorian age fantasy where she uh, is uh, studying dragons. And I'm really looking forward to the second book. So hoping to get to that soon. And then I'm not sure if this is, I, I, I just assumed this was a series. Now that I think about it, um, I just assumed, but it doesn't say here. I don't know. I, I, I'm i pretty sure this is a series. This is The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher um, Woolman. And so I've heard uh, mixed things about this book, but I thought I would give it a shot since I found it. So I shot it for like six bucks. So I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. Um, I know it has to do with, I think, a thief who tries to rob the wrong person and then they get caught up into whatever that person is dealing with. I'm not sure anything beyond that. I just bought that on a whim, but um, I did really, I, I'm interested. I've been interested since it came out. I just didn't want to pay for it because it was hardback, but I got it for pretty cheap. And then the last of the series books, I bought something I shouldn't have. <laughs> and it's again, it's one of those things where I, I, they're just so pretty. And I don't usually buy cover by books. Like I usually, you know, it's most of the story. And I, these are stories I, this is a story I want to read. The problem is I already own the other, <laughs> another paperback version of the first book, but I just, I had to buy them and it's bad. Anyway, but that's fine. Everybody's talking about it right now because the fourth book just came out in the series. And that is the Dandelion Dan Dynasty, it's, it's Dynasty, right? Um, by Ken Liu. So I rebought <laughs> The Grace of Kings because these covers are just fantastic. I just, I, I just, I didn't need that. I got The Wall of Storms and The Veiled Throne, which just came out in, I believe also it was a pre-order. Um, so I got these from Blackwalls. I just, they're just so pretty. <laughs> Anyway, so I have not, I've started uh, book one, The Grace of Kings, many, many years ago. And um, it just, I tried it by audio the first time. And so then I waited and then I bought a paperback version. I just never came back to it. So um, I did try it again before I bought these. And I was, I, I did want to read these again. So, but I bought all these and I probably shouldn't have. But they're so pretty. Anyway, so th that was not my best uh, use of my money. Um, except that now I have them and I think the fourth one comes out in paperback in January. I'm hoping to be into the series before then because I've already pre-ordered that one because it's so pretty. Anyway, but um, and again, I don't usually do cover buys. I mean, again, it's a series I want to read. I just, I didn't need to do that, but I was afraid that they would disappear, I guess, and I just bought it. Anyway, so um, that one is like a silk punk fantasy kind of Chinese um history inspired I think and um I know we're following some people that are dealing with the empire in some way I'm not sure beyond that it really is a confusing synopsis when I've read it but as I said I only read the first like 30 pages so I should really get back to that so it might I might get to Grace of Kings in September but I kind of doubt it with what books are on my TBR if not I'm gonna really try hard to get uh Grace of Kings on on October but we'll see how I go and then the last of the books are a couple of standalones. At least I believe they're stand they're standalones at this point. So or this at least one. Um, a very secret society of irregular witches by Sangu Mandana. So I've been seeing this on Goodreads and on Instagram and stuff. So it just sounded really cute. I, I don't know if anybody has actually read it though. Um, if I missed it i'm sorry but i it just sounds so cute about a woman who um is a witch in i think in england and she um isn't supposed to let anybody know she is one so she but she makes i think she makes youtube videos kind of pretending to be a witch <laughs> and then she gets asked to be a, to uh take a governess job of some sort or some kind of job that goes to help some kids who um who um for some reason i'm not sure but it just sounds fun <laughs> I don't know if it's romance or if it's just uh 
or if it's just, you know, it just sounded cute with the witches thing. Anyway, so the point is, is I'm hoping to get to that soonish because I bought it, but it's, I think it's a standalone. I don't think there's another series involved. Um, on vacation, I bought uh, The Chosen and the Beautiful by um, Ningvo. I just went to a bookstore and decided that, you know, I should probably buy a book and I bought this one. I've been looking at this for quite a long time. I like uh, Ningvo's um, the Singing Hills uh, novellas, so two of those out, like the, um, what is that? The Empress of Salt and Fortune. Um, is that the, how it goes? Salt and something. <laughs> uh, anyway, I liked the two that have already come out. The third one's coming out, I think, in October. So I'm really looking forward to that. But this is a book that came out last year that I really wanted to buy, but I didn't want to buy in hardback. Uh, so now the paperback's out, and this is a retelling of The Great Gatsby from Jordan's perspective, which I would find really interesting. And again, it's magic, and it's changed um, Jordan's character to um, be, I think, adopt, uh, yeah, a Vietnamese adoptee. So I just, and it's, I, I believe it's queer as well. So it, I think this would be just, I've heard good things about it, but I just hadn't got around to it. So I finally just bought it because I was on vacation and I could buy books. And then I did pick up another Wendy Webb book because <laughs> I read the other one, read um one of them recently. Um, that was uh the one I did for my booktube spin. Uh, so um this one is the end of Temperance Dare. So this is I think a little older one, and uh these ones are all yeah 2017. So these are all like um uh, what do I want to say paranormal ish. Uh, mysteries kind of things and usually they're I mean they're all take place uh near Lake Superior usually in Minnesota and it just they're they're just it's very um atmospheric and you know they're not perfect but I did want to pick up a couple more of her books I want to read uh read the ones that I've got and then I also got this one just dropped in price and this one has to do with someone who becomes a director of a, a writer's retreat trying to escape from her her life and um after she's hoping um i think she uh something's going on like there at that um at the artist retreat like there's like some mystery of the past as well as uh feelings that she's having you know while she's there i'm not sure but anyway, we're gonna give it a shot so those are all the books that i bought i just wanted to really quick put show some other things i bought while on vacation i did buy a couple little signs i love this one <laughs> bad decisions make great good make good stories so I don't know if I'm gonna get it on here somewhere but the point is is that I bought this just because uh it made me laugh and I, I like writing I'm trying to get back into my writing which isn't I just started yet and then I got this one which can't I'm booked I think I love this I just I'm not sure where this is gonna go I'm gonna probably hang it somewhere in my house I haven't figured out how yet so but that's on the docket to do and then I did I did mention in one of my um or my last uh, weekly update is that I bought some new notebooks because of course I wanted one, but the price for five was cheaper <laughs> per book. So I bought five of them. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these for. I'm hoping to use these for writing or journaling or something. I have a tendency to buy a lot of notebooks. I think a lot of writers do. Uh, we're just attracted to them. And um, I bought five. I didn't, I didn't need, I didn't need all five. I mean, seriously, I, I didn't, but. The price was too good for five, so um, hopefully I'll be using those. But that was another purchase that I would kind of group into my writing, reading kind of thing. So that is it. That's everything. I mean, really, 12 is really low for me. Um, part of that was because I was gone on vacation, so I couldn't just be scanning for books because I didn't want a lot of books showing up while I was gone because my brother already gives me a bad time <laughs> about how many books I buy online. Um and of course, some of them did come while I was gone because they were pre-orders. So <laughs> I only had two show up when I was gone. So that's okay. But anyway, I'm hoping to do better in the next uh, the next month. But we'll we'll see. I'm already, as I said, I'm already itching to uh, take some books back to some used bookstores to get credit to buy more books. So we'll see. Um, and uh, I have books everywhere. I really don't know where I'm going to put these, but we'll see. Uh, I have them now. So if you've read any of these, um, let me know what if you would if I should pick it up sooner rather than later. Let me know. Um, did you buy anything good in uh, August? Were you good or were you bad? <laughs> let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.